Hello, and welcome to the Inosix Integration Stitch Lab. In today's session, we're going to introduce Salesforce CPQ Guided Selling in conjunction with SAP Variant Configuration. If you're new to the Inosix Stitch Lab, we provide short videos highlighting integrated business processes designed for organizations invested in SAP ERP. And we focus on common processes for increasing performance, powered by modern platforms and the use of Inosix integration for SAP. We also hope to give you creative tactics to help you better compete in your industry. So let's jump in. In today's stitch, we're gonna focus on quoting optimization and in particular, leverage guided selling within Salesforce CPQ. Guided selling provides an easy to use interface to help sales reps position the right solution while greatly simplifying the quoting process for both sales reps and customers. SAP Variant Configuration provides powerful configuration logic for products that have deep customization and extend that customization into order fulfillment, all being managed within SAP. And in today's session, we're gonna to stitch together both systems to provide a powerful integrated business process. Before we begin, let's look at the common quoting challenges when Salesforce and SAP are not integrated. The primary challenge is you have sales reps that are providing quoting out of Salesforce, and in parallel, you have maybe a separate team that is providing those sales reps the actual configuration out of SAP. And it's the fact these processes are not integrated where challenges happen. Those challenges can uh, range from um, manual errors in handling the data, maybe uh, data entry errors, and also maybe some delays in turnaround time in terms of when the customer requests information and when the sales reps actually able to give it back to them. So when we look at the holistic process, the separation of Salesforce and SAP provides many challenges throughout the quoting process. And if we're able to stitch those together using a NOSIX, we can really create some synergies. So the sales rep can manage the entire quoting process themselves and as needed, reach into SAP and take advantage of SAP data or functionality. So let's demonstrate what this would look like in the persona of a sales rep. We'll begin in Salesforce and I'm at the opportunity uh, record and I'm going to go to our quote. And again, we're using Salesforce CPQ for our quoting example. And let's go ahead and add a product to CPQ. And as we do this, we're going to be prompted first with a guided selling prompt. And the prompt is gonna ask us predefined questions based on the customer that we're selling to. And this can all be configured within Salesforce CPQ. This is native CPQ functionality. And this is really nice because the sales rep can ask the customer some questions to clarify requirements. And then guided selling will filter only the appropriate products based on those requirements. So as an example, we can ask the customer what application they're gonna be using the scanner for. We'll be reading barcodes. We will uh, have cell and Wi-Fi as our mobility requirement, and we'll have uh, OLED as our display type. So we'll go ahead and enter that, and you'll see CPQ filters out the only products that are available based on those chosen characteristics. So we have our barcode reader here. And before I select the barcode reader, let's just jump back to our process real quick and show that we've used guided selling to ensure that we've got a strong product fit within Salesforce. We don't need to have any mapping or replication occur anymore in SAP. So now we're going to go from product selection and reach into SAP and take advantage of variant configuration. But we're gonna do that all within Salesforce using an OSIX. So I'll go ahead and choose our barcode reader, and you'll see Inosix will make a call to SAP, and it will virtually render 
this variant configuration model from SAP into Salesforce CPQ. And it's doing this all without any data replication. So now as the sales rep, I have a seamless experience to choose all of the variant configuration characteristics for my barcode reader. And while I choose these characteristics, I'm getting a real-time validation from SAP. So if I choose any characteristics that's not, that is not compatible with maybe some of my prior options, I'll have immediate feedback from SAP that it is not valid. So I'll continue to fill out these selections here. And as I choose my last selection for system voltage, you'll see that my configuration is now valid with SAP. I've used all of this configuration model from SAP. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And as I save it, we're going to write this information back to Salesforce as part of our eventual quote line on our quote. So I'll go ahead and save this configured barcode reader. And now back on our quote in Salesforce, if we look at our quote line for the barcode reader, we can see that all of these characteristics we pulled from SAP have now been written back to our quote line. And this becomes really important for downstream activities like using this quote after it's accepted to go on and create an order in SAP. Because we've used really complex logic from SAP to configure this product. So we know that the product matches what's in Salesforce and what eventually will be entered into SAP as an order. So hopefully this was a very quick example of an integrated business process leveraging Salesforce CPQ and specifically guided selling in conjunction with SAP variant configuration. For more information on what's happening in Salesforce or the Anosics integration to SAP, SAP please contact marketing at Thank you very much.